Okay, this is a little impromptu video here. Um, customer wanted to find out, uh, they, they, they believe that the check valve inside of their um, electric vacuum pump is not working right. Uh, I don't have very good lighting here, but I'll hopefully it will be able to work. They said they wanted to find out why it wasn't working. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what it should sound like when you, when you suck on this, uh, you know, how it should sound. I'm just sucking in, and you can hear the hear the flap 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 valve inside closing. And when it does, there's no air that can leak back through the through the motor. Take it off. Take off the four screws. You see why I don't like to use electric screwdrivers. I have a screw with a very narrow head here. And normally this will just pull right off. Sometimes it's harder to get off than at other times. Normally it'll just pull right off before these screws go flying. So isn't it my luck that I've got one that doesn't want to come off? Got to find a screwdriver. Uh, and now my phone is ringing. Okay, there it goes. Okay, let me resume here. Um, the edge right here is able to get this up. And I'm going to gently pull it off. Okay, and you see underneath there, we got there. Make sure that uh, the dust doesn't go down inside. And here you have the flapper. And that's all it is. Just a, just a piece of phenolic material with a piece of, uh, of a medium weight motor cloth glued to it. And you notice how... Um, it doesn't sit flat all by itself. In other words, it has a natural tendency because of the way that it's glued in to to be up a little. Well, some of them, when this cloth gets uh, when this cloth gets old, um, what will happen is that it, it'll get stiff. That cloth will get stiff, um, and when that happens, of course, then you know, it has a reluctance. Uh, for this flap to close, and that can be a problem when you're foot pumping, because you won't be able to generate enough vacuum to suck that close, because it's that sucking of that flap, which is on against a rubber. This is a rubber gasket right here. This is a rubber gasket uh, against a rubber gasket, and then and then it won't uh, it won't shut off. All right. So what you got to do two things. First off, you have to determine whether or not the, the cloth is flexible enough and um, although you know I'm gonna try to do this from right here so that you can see that so you can see it closing if I don't fall over okay. and I'm, I'm not sucking that hard as you can tell um, but what you can do a couple of things you can do is one you can kinda stretch it like this kind of loosen that cloth up you know even because what's probably gotten stiff is the is the rubber that's inside of the cloth this is a um, this is a bellows cloth and so there's rubber in there and sometimes the rubber will get stiff so you can just kind of wiggle it around a little bit until it's until it loosens up because the cloth is plenty strong enough you're not going to have to worry about damaging the cloth or loosen that up a little bit until it just takes virtually no pressure at all. I mean, I'm just putting a tiny, tiny little bit of pressure. In fact, I'm just going to take a screw here. I mean, I'm just going to take the, the weight of a screw. 
Yeah. You can take the weight of a screw, and you can see that just the weight of a screw is almost enough to to uh, to get that to close. It's very very little pressure necessary. Um, then once you do that, put it back on. Yeah. Uh, make sure you align the holes correctly. Put it back exactly where it came from. The only reason I say that to put it back exactly where it came from is because sometimes the screw holes in these pieces um, aren't exactly spaced correctly. So if you uh, don't remember where it was oriented when you took it off and you try to put it on a, in a different place, uh, it may very well uh, strip the screws or the screws won't go back in where they belong and you'll be making new holes and you might get the alignment wrong. Um, so it's best just to remember you know, how it was oriented when you took it apart and make sure it gets put back the same way. And that's all there is to it.